and welcome back to High Now Daily. Again, we've been here on Maui all show long, and we're so excited to be now with Wesley Lowe, who is the CEO of Hale Makua. We've been talking story with your fantastic staff. We talked to Tiana and Alohi, and I can't, you know, begin to tell you how grateful I am for the work that you folks are doing here at Hale Makua, getting out into the community. So I just wanted to, off the top, mahalo you from the bottom of my heart. Yep. And um, I did want to talk about the long-term efforts because your staff talked about initial what was down over almost a year now, and then now we're looking to the future and, and growth rate. Yeah, so the long-term, um, you know, first and foremost, we got to take care of our kupuna. We, we're here to serve our kupuna. Um, but, but with this, this whole things with the Maui fires, we're trying to figure out a way uh, to help the economic recovery. So we're, we're working with the State Economic Recovery Commission, the County of Maui, FEMA, HUD, you know, all the federal agencies and philanthropy to see if we can t take a really comprehensive look at economic recovery in Maui County. And that's through the lens of healthcare and our kupuna. So uh, back behind me, um, we are developing a new rehab center. And we're working with the county and the, and, the, and the state and the feds to see if we can expand services so we can add more medical services here. Mm -hmm. But in addition to that, we need to make sure that we, we take care of more aging populations so we'll have more beds. And then also, we want to develop um, jobs and affordable housing for our, our youth so that they can actually have entry level jobs get housing and actually earn a living wage after you know spending some time through a workforce development program we've established. Wow, and that's what we were just looking at behind us, right? Yep. So back there, that is like a, a public park? Yeah, it's a county owned park and uh, we've been working with the county. To, um, they've been uh, giving us some of the land to start doing this development. Wow, that's incredible. And just to see your staff come together after it's been almost a year, what has that been like for you to oh, witness? Wow. Yeah, um, I'll tell you, um, that first uh, day after um, the fire, actually it was before the fire started, they started preparing, um, almost brought me to tears. Um, they've been incredible. Um, I think that what, what you understand is the people you work with, they care so much about the community and people that their whole lives were in shambles and they just went out and do, did everything for everybody. And, you know, I think that's our calling in life. And, you know, I can't be, be uh, more honored to work side by side with them for sure. Yeah, absolutely. I could feel that yeah. just from your team here. It was a really special day for me to witness. Um, and then I wanted to talk about the long-term efforts to yeah. support. How can people who are <laughs> listening in support you folks? Because it's gonna take a lot of money to put something like this together yeah. but it is so needed for the community here yeah well first of all we got to socialize the message and understand that you know we're not here just to provide affordable housing we're here to provide a system that you know brings our community and raises our community up and, and diversify our, our economy um, but you know obviously anything uh, we can do the support the emotional support uh, the public support as well as you know if, if you want to donate halimakua.org backslash donate and in the um, in the notes section just put recovery okay and then the support from other donors that has been coming in yes. and now you you know we are focusing on the long term so what is that going to look like how much funds would you need to put together something like this and provide yeah. that homes that housing well that? if we did all pieces of this which includes building of a rehab center additional medical office space affordable housing which would house our workers mm -hmm. yes yeah, so they can start right. entry level and also we're thinking with teachers um, etc um, and our workforce development efforts we probably got to get around hundred million dollars okay. but we're working with the state and the, uh, the county and then the fed so and philanthropy of course absolutely yeah. okay so again if you want to donate it is so important to really put this on your mind because it is almost a year since August and um, you know we want to make sure everybody still has Maui on their minds and that this we are all here for the long-term recovery mm -hmm. and to keep pushing through all of this and I'm so grateful to be here yep. with you today and it's gonna do that um, we're gonna wrap things up here at Holly Cool, but please stay with us throughout the week here on Hainal Daily. We're going to be covering a lot of stories with nonprofits, with local businesses, and um, you know, giving you opportunity to donate, to share your time, to get involved. So join us Hainal Daily all week long here from the Valley Isle. Mahalo for joining me today. Thank you. All right, we'll see you guys Maui tomorrow. <laughs>